New tonight, the city of Amarillo continues to make improvements to the Animal Control Department after nearly two months of heated controversy surrounding allegations of improper euthanasia. In the first reading, the city passed two ordinances that will clarify state laws already in place about tethering, food, water, and shelter, and the inhumane treatment of animals. Marissa Lucero was there for the meeting, and she joins us now with more. Marissa? Larry, when it comes to animal control, emotions are still running high. Now, some people seem pleased about the improvements to these laws, while others are still concerned that the root of these problems are still on paid administrative leave, and they're not happy about it. Do you see them coming back? I will say honestly, I hope not. No, no, no. I mean, I, I can't imagine if, if they get to come back. I know. I mean, it's going to be an outrage. It really is. First, the city made changes to internal procedures, then minor upgrades to the facility. Now they're looking at clarifying and strengthening city ordinances. But some concerned citizens say that's still not enough. What they want is for previous director Mike McGee and assistant director Shannon Barlow to be gone for good. They're still getting paid for this abuse, you know, alleged abuse, but we know it's there. It's killing all these animals, and they're still getting paid for this. It's happening, and it's not, it's not right. The two have been on paid administrative leave since April 11th, and just a few weeks later, a group of concerned citizens presented the city commission with a petition with more than 5,200 signatures demanding the city terminate McGee and Barlow, but that hasn't happened. When I spoke to the mayor weeks ago, he said in a situation like this, it's normal for the city employees to be put on paid administrative leave until the investigation was complete and that they were taking the petition seriously. They're still getting paychecks. Um, I've had to forego paychecks of my own to come to these meetings and see if the laws are being enforced and see what we can do to make these laws stronger um, while they're getting paid to do the job that... I've been trying to do for them. Oh, at least if they're on paid, I mean on leave, then they don't need to be paid for it because this is actually killing of animals, you know, and who should get to get paid for that? As the issue continues, Pro News 7 will continue to follow it and we'll bring you the latest. I'm Pro News 7, Marissa Lucero.